Yo guys, what's going on? It's Xeno and Arcana bringing you my first GFX tutorial on my new channel. I decided to make a new channel because I just didn't like how the old one was running. And I decided to want to be more active and start afresh. So today I'm bringing you a tu tu tutorial that I made before, but I'm going to make it uh, better this time on how to make a decent logo. So what you want to do is you, you could make a .aa file, but I'm just going to make a normal text one. So find a font you like. Let's just say the person's name. We're going to call it Sarah. Okay, the person's name is going to be called Sarah. All right, we're going to give it a bit. We're going to give Sarah a bit of depth. So just like that, and we're then going to load the materials. If they would like to load, so just go find them. Dun, 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 dun. I'll include both the map pack and if I can find it, I'll include both the map pack and everything else I use in this tutorial in the description for you guys to go download. Okay, so I'll make two layers of that and then go to here, create a tube, angle it up. Right, like so. Go to the modeling axis, make the outer one bigger and the inner one smaller. Drag that up, get that all level. Okay, so. And twist it back to shape. Then you can play around with the angles and everything however you like. So, just play around with that, and I'll be back in a second to bring you the next part of the tutorial. Alright guys, I've played around with, uh, with the logo a little bit, and now we're just going to add some colours before we go into the next stage. So, we're going to make this a... Hmm, any mini money, but we're going to make it a blue, probably? No, we're going to do a bit of an orange... So make one, probably make the back layer orange actually, and make the front layer chrome. So if you render that out, that's alright. And then do the opposite for this side, find the orange, make that side orange, and then if you look, that's got too much shine on it. So we want to go to here, create a spotlight. Make the spotlight bigger and drag it out like that. Render that out a bit. Mm -hmm. Check that out again. All right, let's drag out the one and make it as dark as possible. Let's move that light a bit. Mm. Okay, there. Alright, play around with the lights later, but for the moment we're going to go plug in Thorsey and add Thorsey. And before you do that, you want to select all of them. So you do that, and then change the pieces to 30 and break now. That'll take a little bit of time to break. So while you're doing that, you want to be thinking what you're going to do next. Next. So as soon as that's broke, which it should be pretty soon, I'll be back. All right. Now broken. So let's check what's causing good. What we're going to do is we're going to go MoGraph Effect the Group. Put them all in the group, like so. And we're going to go MoGraph Effect the Random. Add the random here. Drag all of them down into the random. Then we're going to go deform at point. If you look, that makes everything go mental. We're going to put the weight down to about 37 and the strength down to about 15, 16. Render that out, you'll see everything's cracked. Like so. Then you could, if you wanted to, 
just have a look. If they're the back ones, go MoGraph Effector Random. Add a completely different one for that. The MoGraph Effector Group. And add that random to that group. So that's not cracked yet, and then you could make. Why don't you want to work for me? Oh, it's because it's not in the group. Alright, so make that, and then make this a different one if you wanted to. So crack that a little bit more. Okay, so that's done, and now I'm just going to do a bit of a lighting. So just make everything, you want to make the T's darker. So change the angle of everything until everything's darker. And once that's done, you can then bring it all into Photoshop. So once I've finished playing with the lights, I'll be back again. Okay, I'm back again guys, I've played around the lighting. I didn't get them, I've got these colours exactly right, but hopefully it will correct itself as we continue. So now, once you've done that, you want to go do the render settings, put the output to 800 by 800, go to save, make sure alpha channel is clicked and checked, put it on PNG and save it where you like. So I'm going to save it as blur, there we go, and just rend make it about the side of the page, get the dimension that we want, and render it out. So once that's done, you want to go back to the settings, save it as blur 1, go options, go effect, go cell render, change the edge colour to white and the background colour to black, click edges, then make sure that it's called a different name and render out. As you see that will give a nice little effect there, I'll show you what that does later. Right, you want to open Photoshop, you want to go File, New, 800 by 800, like so. Go to where you saved it previously, drag and drop into here. Alright, and then grab the other one as well, drag and drop onto here. Now, what you can have to do with this one is have it normal and lower the opacity to make it darker we can go linear dodge to keep it light but I'm going to go normal and lower the opacity just to keep it darker then you want to uh, push shift and move them into the position that you want now I'm going to keep this a very very simple logo and not add, add too much things but still make it good I've got a background thing I've already thought out here which is just a simple background texture like that and then a simple colour at the back like that so I'll include this PSD in the description so you want to click down until it has and drag until it's got this black or white depending on the colour you're hovering over and then drag that and drop it into here then you want to go edit free transform and drag that to the correct page size and place that to the back of the PSD then grab the other one drag that up and into the same place as here free transform find where that sits there so it's just over the logo and that's done <coughs> throw out the people uh, then you want to go to blur create clipping mask get a normal brush or whatever I'm going to make it brown and make the very big brush make sure it's a fine one though and then colour over that in black then you want to reduce the opacity and if you want put it on overlay now what you see that will decrease the colour slightly <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that and it will make it look better then once again we've got a colour right correction here just drag that onto this PSD like so then you want to add the colour correction and if you look instantly it changes the colour so you could have a 
just as it, we had it orange anyway. We're just going to change it to mm, find a nice color here. Lune. Okay, so we're going to make a pink one. Alright, so that will change the color completely to what it originally was. It will change the entire PSD. Alright, so it looks okay. It doesn't look amazing. But, yep. So now this is where you add some extra textures if you want to. If you don't, you can just leave the PSD as it is. What well, I'm gonna just gonna try it might not work. Oh Jesus Christ, why did I just put that? Okay. So we put it at the top, make a layer over the top and make a text box, make it light pink colour. Drag that over and put it on overlay. If you decrease the opacity, that will then make the whole PSD a bit lighter in colour, or you can have a darker depending. But I want the white to turn into a pink, so I want it on low opacity so it's not obvious. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm just gonna go to my textures if I can find them. And I'm going to add a night sky texture in between the layer one and the simple background copy. And like that. You can either once again, if it were like to fill the whole screen, keep it on to normal and reduce the opacity to keep a darker background. Or you can screen it. But I'm gonna keep it on normal. And if you really wanted to, you could put it above there. And further reduce the opacity. Which actually, I think, does look quite nice. Darkens the entire P uh, the entire PSD and makes everything look a lot nicer. Okay. Then... Hmm, what can I do now? Okay. I'm just going to add some text at the bottom here. Not done, but no, it's not done at all yet. But just gonna add some. Look for a nice looking. You can use whatever type you want, but I might use crisis. Um. Okay, that'll do. So I'll just do that. What do we call the person again? Sarah. There we go. Call it Sarah. You get darker like that. You could make this text in Cinema 4D, but I don't have the time. It will also take a lot longer. Um, I'm gonna add a satin. Reduce the opacity and change the angle. Add an inner glow. As you know, I'm gonna probably add an outer. I'm gonna add the drop shadow. At that angle and what on satin did that add a drop shadow so it's facing the bottom right increase the opacity ch change the distance and the spread and should change the distance that far and increase the spread like that add a gradient overlay Put it on reverse and reduce the opacity of it so it merges in more. Then just probably gonna finish it off with an inner shadow, reduce the opacity on that. And yeah, so that will do for the text. Now it's just a case of adding and changing some more things. So I'm probably gonna. No, actually. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find another. Now I'm going to add a. Find it. A flare. Add a small flare. To here. Put it underneath the text. Sarah. Find where I put the flare. And put it above the colour correction. 
screen it, make it smaller. I should not put it underneath it, give it the same colour. Or you can keep it normal. Juicy opacity works the same way. Actually, no, yeah, screening works better on that one. And have a high opacity. Okay, so what we need now is we need something which will make it a bit nicer. So let's go have a look what we have. No, nope, nothing there. I'll probably use. Oh, that wow, reminds me. Okay, so I've got a. Because I haven't got this texture yet. Which is really annoying. I'm just going to steal it from a previous PSD. Right. And make it so it fills most of the page and put it behind there. But increase the opacity on it slightly. There we go. Alright. I don't know what more else I can add to be honest. I think it's just now a case of you guys playing around so I'm gonna have a little bit more of a play around. That's pretty much uh, oh, no, another thing you could do is to duplicate that. Go to the back copy of it. Increase the size of it. Put it behind it. Where it would be if it was bigger. Um, yep. Then go to the main shape, decrease the opacity, then remove that and that, and probably that. Yeah, you want to keep that on that. Okay, then remove the nice guy as well, so we've got a backing there. Then, hmm. Yeah, so as I said before, you just now got to play around with it for a bit, really. Have we got any more texties here? I could probably think of using. Mm. No. So, just have a play around with it. I'm going to have a bit more play around. I'll come back to you when I'm done. So, yeah. See you in a bit. Alright, guys. So, I've pretty much finished this now. All I've done since last time to give it an extra like look, really is I've added some flares around the edge of the actual logo. I've added an overlay over it of like bumps and stuff which looks quite nice and you know I've just overall just added the flare at the back. You know, I've just made it look a bit nicer. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of your, your tutorial. Leave in the description down below what you'd like to see from my next video. I'm bringing you, I'm going to bring you some regular speed art, some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 things. I'm going to try and you know, get some diamond camo on some guns before some of the big YouTubers. Yeah. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you li uh, liked it, please leave a like, comment. And if you haven't already previously, please subscribe. Peace.